Calvin came, he studied neurons and the mathematics of neurons and found that one neuron by itself is very erratic. You put two together, it's more regular. The more neurons you have in a network, the more precise the network, the faster. There's a relationship between the speed of a neural network and the number of brain neurons. And Calvin went to, to the University of Washington with Arthur Ward and George Ogeman where they were doing surgery for epilepsy. And he um, was working while they were doing Oh, they were doing surgery for epilepsy and so they were having to open the skull and then wake people up and ask them questions and stimulate the cortex and the temporal area, the language area, and they were mapping the language area and before they did their surgery so they wouldn't disturb the person's language. And Calvin realized that the part of the brain that we use for language was the part of the brain that gave us the enough n neurons to be able to rapidly control an object. Like he looked at throwing a, a uh, rock at a small animal because he figured in ice age conditions we needed uh, to live off of small animals, not large animals. And so he just, in his own life, he went up and sneaked up on a rabbit and found that the closest he could get was about four meters. But in reality, the farther you can throw and accurately hit a target, the less chance that you'll scare off the supper that you want to have. And so he just calculated the uh, throwing of efficiency relative to brain neurons and he found that if you threw and hit a, a small animal at four meters, the m physics of this is your arm goes through an arc and you have 11 one thousand of a second time period to release the rock. If you release it too early, you go above your target. If you release it too late, you go below. So at four meters, you have 11 one thousand of a second to release it. If you go out to eight meters, you go down to 1.4 one thousand of a second, which is really incredible actually. And so uh, as he, what he, understanding the mathematics of neurons, he found that if you needed uh, 100 million neurons at four meters, you needed 6,400 million neurons at eight meters. And uh, the, um, the more precise an activity, the more neurons that you need in the network, okay? Now, the medications they give for attention deficit speed up the child's reaction time. I mean, the TOVA, uh, uh, Lawrence Greenberg's TOVA, where they do uh, testing for attention and look at reaction time when they're uh, prescribing attention deficit medications. Um, he, um, the, the criteria for giving Ritalin is the reaction time. Okay. If you have a slow reaction time, most, I mean, kids with attention deficit have a slow reaction time. The medications they give them speed up the reaction time. And so, to me, this indicates that there's not enough neurons in the network firing to keep the system sustained attention. And the learning breakthrough activities, as you saw again with the experiment, sped up reading efficiency, I mean, uh, something observable. The, um, the um, activities speed up the brain. And what you do, the important thing of an understanding is that when you do the learning breakthrough consistently, you build these neural networks and they're there. Now, they aren't there just to maintain attention. They're there to do mathematical things, they're there to do academic things, they're there to do visual things. They're there for the kid when he goes to drive. I mean, the, one of the things about these kids with attention deficit is that they are prone to car crashes, okay? And the fact is, is that if you have a child with an attention deficit, you b would really be sensible, even a, an adult, to do the activities.